Yeah, next news is out of Melbourne, Australia. A disturbing moment, a Jewish pupil to age 12 in an Australian school is forced to kiss the shoe of a Muslim boy amid claims of rampant anti-Semitic bullying. Armin, do you have the, the photograph up right yes, now? Yes, it's up. Okay. A Jewish school boy was forced to kiss the shoe of a Muslim boy or face vicious beating at the hands of nine other children who circled him in a park. So um, they're, they're saying that this, this boy... A gang of kids, I'm, this is insane to me, but a, a gang of kids circled these two boys, forced the Jewish boy to kiss the feet of the Muslim boy while they took a photograph, saying that um, uh, he had no right to hate Muslims or something like that. And then uh, they started like tell, calling him a whole bunch of nasty things that I'm not going to repeat. Um yeah, it was check, check in the comment section and check in the description for all this stuff. If we say the stuff that is in this article, by the way, this is not fair because this like this is shared in mainstream media um, and we we can't we don't we can't get away with saying any of these things because like non-mainstream media, we will get removed from YouTube, Facebook and everywhere if we actually say what's in the news. Uh, but mainstream media gets away with saying everything. So it's, it, I mean, it's so unfair because it's just the news. We're not saying those things, but anyways, we're not going to say them, but look, we could, would we get into trouble for including it in the description? I don't know. I, you know, I wouldn't even, um, just in today's, I mean, this is pretty, pretty vicious stuff. I mean, guys, they even went as far as to mock his penis because it was circumcised. Uh, to such an extent that he would wet himself instead mm. of going to the bathroom. Um, he literally fell to the floor and told his mom, you shouldn't love me, I'm worthless. Um, and then started repeating the things about himself that they were calling him uh, because he's a Jew. Um, and I mean, this is just this is just horrifying bullying, honestly. Yeah, I mean, okay, so we won't include it even in the description. There's a link to the article, so go check that out. But this is like they, I see. I saw in the article they said that they, they haven't done anything to the kids that took these pictures and did the abuse. Why is that? That's a good question. Um, hmm. They haven't. I don't understand why they wouldn't do anything to them. Right. But by the way, this is is this verified news? Because I'm seeing the source is Daily Mail, and a lot of people are going to say like, "Wow, you shared a Daily Mail article." That's a, the worst. But this is this is true. This news is true, right? Like this is not something, like right? Yeah, because a lot of people don't like this source. But hey, they're not always wrong. Um, right. But again, this is this is the type of abuse that should be called out, uh, and not when you say anything bad about israel or anything about judaism that's not anti-semitic this is anti-semitic right this is uh, this is what you need to call out as nuns and this is this is not uh, you know, anti-semitic you know anti-semitism is rising everywhere and in, the, in, in europe in the united states um it was always a uh, huge in islamic countries but it's becoming even bigger so and this is a big problem so find where it is a real problem and point at it and call it out and try to take actions against it instead of trying to find like people's legitimate concerns about some po even non-legitimate concerns about like israel's policies that's not anti-semitic if you talk about judaism as a religion and attack that that's not anti-semitic this is anti-semitic this is what you need to call out as anti-semitic and you need and I mean, this 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 got, captures people's attention because there was a photograph, but there's a lot more stuff like this happening um, that is not being reported on, especially in Islamic countries. Especially in Islamic countries, there's a lot of anti-Semitic views um, that needs to be called out. So just just do it properly. Um, let me see, Shar. Uh, Sharma is saying, but Quran allows such acts. It's a religion of peace, after all. God, I'm so tired of that joke. Yeah, yeah, we know Islam is not a religion of peace. It's a violent religion, but come up with new material. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. 
Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.